If you want to learn how to build your first AI slash artificial intelligence app in less than 15 minutes using serverless technology like AWS Lambda, AWS Recognition, and AWS API Gateway, you are in the right place. So stay tuned, we are about to start. And feel free to follow for more amazing tutorials. So here is a preview of what we're going to build today. I'm going to show you how to extract label or hashtag from any image out there without launching any server or any machine learning model's ability by using serverless technology that's accessible to everyone. As you can see on the screen, we are getting the image label by making simple post requests. We're gonna learn how to do that too. It's very simple. Just follow the tutorial. And if you have any question or anything, leave comment and I will respond to you. Okay, so before we're gonna start, I'm gonna go over very quickly on the architecture technology that we're gonna use. Okay, we're gonna make a post request via a Postman, Postman client. I already made a YouTube video, a tutorial about how to use Postman as an API tool request. Very simple, very easy. So we're gonna set a post request that we're gonna send to API endpoint. Endpoint, sorry, that's gonna be provided by AWS API Gateway. Okay, when we're gonna do the post request, it's gonna invoke AWS Lambda function. And also we need to set AWS IAM, it's identity access management to the Lambda function. So we're gonna have permission. And the Lambda function gonna run AWS recognition at detect label function. Basically that will return back to us. Okay, so the first step, and before we actually starting, this is AWS recognition AI service that you can go over. There is so many options, it's already built for you. You just need to integrate with them. You don't need to build or have any knowledge about machine learning, we're gonna use the detect label that we just saw, but there is so many other services that you can use. Okay, so first step, let's create our IAM rule or identity access management. So go to IAM and go to rules. Okay, do create rule or new, choose Lambda, and next, and then we need to add to new rule. The first one is AWS say, recognition. Okay, add the full uh, access. And the second one is AWS Lambda full access. Just search for it and as you can see, it's uh, available to us. Okay, perfect. Hit next. Then just uh, give a name to the new rule that you made. I'm using a simple one, Lambda all uh, recognition, as you can see. Okay, going over the review, see that everything okay, and create role. Okay, great, very simple. Next step, we're gonna create Lambda function. Okay, so this is Lambda. If you don't know, Lambda is an option uh, allow you to run a function on serverless uh, cloud. I also made an overview about all the AWS top uh, 25 uh, services that you can use and Lambda is one of them, so you can also check on my YouTube. So we're gonna create a Lambda function. We're gonna set the name now. We're gonna create something from scratch, okay? We're gonna use, uh, today, we're gonna use Node 14. Okay, it's gonna be a Node.js 14. We're gonna run JavaScript basically. It's not gonna be Python code. And here you, it's where you basically allow the access to the permission that we had. Okay, so this is Lambda. This is the overview about Lambda. Uh, basically, uh, it's like editor, online editor that you can run any code. Okay, and this is where we're gonna put our um, AI code. This is the, the place we're gonna put it. Uh, we're gonna use the index.js file. I already made, especially for you guys, on my uh, GitHub account, you already have all the code. I'm just gonna copy and paste it, and then we're gonna go over line by line so you will understand what is exactly we're running on a AWS Lambda. Okay, so what is the code that we basically um, passed? So the first thing, we're loading the AWS SDK. 
After that we loading the recognition uh, function or instance from AWS and then we using the export handler in order to send the basically uh, the request we need to send the image okay we can use S3 AWS S3 or we can send it as a base 64 so this is a API Amazon AWS API with the recognition uh, documentation that you can follow and check by yourself and this is basically the uh, function uh, that we're gonna use as, as, as you can see it's telling you exactly what you need to pass so it's not like you're creating something from anything everything is uh, documented so you can copy and use and make things very very fast so we're gonna copy this function we already copied that but you can go over by yourself and check it out if you want for a further investigation and this is basically going to be the response that we're going to get you're going to see it immediately so we're creating an object forum so we're going to uh, send the base64 image that we're going to download the max label at the moment we're going to we're going to provide 10 and we want a confidence level of 75 and above and this is the recognition detect label if there is an error we're gonna return an uh, object error to the API and if everything okay we're gonna um, return a object with a file name and also with a tag list or label list of the image we provided and this is basically example for a successful response and there you go, just copy from GitHub, pass it, very, very simple. Now, in order to uh, make sure the function will run, we need to run deploy, so it's like saving it, okay? Then we're gonna create a test uh, function, okay? We're just gonna check, basically, that what we copy or what we created is actually working, but we're gonna check it on Lambda environment, not with the API. With the API, we're gonna do it very, very, very soon. So basically, I'm just creating a event JSON with a two parameter that we that the Lambda function need to get. Its first one is the uh, file uh, name and also the image base sixty four string. Okay, I'm just checking that the uh, the name is okay of the parameter. I had a mistake here. And let's organize so the name the name gonna come first and then the image file. Okay, let's write testing. And now basically for the image, you guys can get whatever image you want. I'm using this website. I'm just gonna show you uh, very fast how you can download image extracts the base 64 of the image and then send it to the api request okay um, we're taking here someone riding a bicycle on the road we're gonna download it then we're gonna get the base 64 of the image from a random website we're gonna copy it and we're gonna pass it to our test to our lambda test to check that actually the function that we just wrote working okay this is very like a first step Lambda overview introduction so you guys can understand and learn and do it by yourself also. It's very simple. Okay, let's save it. And now we're gonna run the test. And perfect, it's working. We're getting a positive 200 response and this is basically exactly the response that the um, AWS recognition services provide us. So as you can see, there is the file name and there is all the tag with all the labels of the image. And you can see that there is a bicycle and there is a lot of uh, other labels that related. And we didn't need to build anything, right? We just like use function that already made for us and created a serverless uh, service. And now we're basically done with Lambda. We're gonna go over next. And uh, we, now we're gonna create our API. So it's gonna be also accessible for people from outside, not only as a test mode. Okay, so we're gonna create now the API gateway. 
It's also very simple, very straightforward. You just type in API Gateway. Okay, we're gonna choose REST API. Okay, and new API. You can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna use API recognition. Okay, and leave everything as it is. Create API. Perfect. Now the next step that we wanna do, we wanna uh, basically create a resource. Okay, this is gonna be our REST API resource. Okay, and for this resource, this is gonna be the path where we're gonna send the post request, it's gonna be recognition. And we're gonna enable the API Gateway uh, course, so it will allow us to do a um, specific request. As, as you can see, you can always read if you don't understand. Okay, perfect. Now let's make, let's create the method. We first creating the resource and now we're creating the REST API resource. Now we're creating the REST API method, the post request. Okay, and here you have option uh, that is gonna be like HTTP request or it's gonna invoke Lambda function. Okay, we're gonna use a Lambda function for the example we have here when we're gonna choose the Lambda function that we already created one step ago. Okay. And that's it, there you go. We created the API that connected to our Lambda function. And now the next step for us, basically it's just deploy the new API that we created. So it's gonna be accessible and available from the outside. We need to choose a develop deployment uh, stage. We're gonna write broad. And you don't have to write any description. And voila guys, we have the link up the app, you can see the link. We can uh, set how many requests we can do for this specific API for a specific hour. And this is the API link that we can send the request. Uh, another thing that I love about API uh, Gateway, AWS API Gateway, that is actually you can uh, import or sorry, export a JSON documentation that will, uh, you can then import it to Postman API, it's like the best thing ever. It's making everything simple. So now is the last step that we're gonna use Postman API. And I'm gonna show you two way, the option to import the documentation that will create us all the post requests. And I'm gonna also do it manually. So if you're not using a post menu and using other tool, you will uh, understand how to use and how to make post requests. So this is option number one, we imported the documentation and basically it's created the request for us, as you can see. And also it set the base URL, it set the path, everything is already made for us. Okay, um, but I'm gonna also show you how to make it like from scratch. So you open a new uh, window, you're doing, uh, you choosing post method copy the new API uh, gateway that we just conducted. Okay, let's go and choose row. And here we're gonna basically uh, set the object that we're gonna send to the server with two variable, the file name and the image base 64 string. Okay, let's write it down. So let's, let's take basically uh, the image. Okay, we already have this image, right? So let's take the uh, base64 string. Okay, and remember like what is the image? Is someone riding a bicycle? We just pass the code. And remove the first, the first uh, string because it's, it's, you don't need it basically. You just need the uh, base64 uh, String. Just check in the header and content type application JSON. 
okay, you don't have to do it, but because it's already uh, made for us. Uh, but if you're using other tool, you need to do that. Okay, so everything is set and it's ready to go. Okay, and now we're gonna hit send. Okay, we have a little uh, issue. Okay, I, I forgot to add basically the path, the recognition path. I just send it to the API without the method that I just created. Okay, perfect. Now I believe it's need to work. And voila, guys, you created a serverless AI app that working for you and basically detect label from every or any image that you have and you can start and basically sell this service for other people that actually need that. And how long it took me? Less than 15 minutes, yeah? And here is all the label that we have, okay? You can see this is the bicycle that is detected. He also like giving you the label and also the parent label, like a lot of the thing that related to this specific image and with every other image, it will give you other uh, label as well. And also the confidence level, how much, how many percent is sure from one, and then from one to 100. We did it from 75% and top. We don't want something less than that, but you can play with it as you want. Isn't it amazing? We just created without launching any server, without building any uh, machine learning tool, right? We don't need all of that. And we created a service that we actually can start and, and use it and sell it. And using our, our ability as a full stack developer and build amazing stuff with API and AWS, of course. Let's choose another image. Yeah, you can choose whatever image you want. It's not limited. And there is other services that you can do with AWS recognition that I'm gonna show later uh, with other tutorial. Okay, let's take this beautiful image with a butterfly and a flower. Let's download. Let's extract the uh, base 64 representation. AWS also allowing you to send, uh, to upload the image to S3. I'm gonna do it in a different tutorial. I just wanna do it here because it's less complicated. This is the first one, it's less complicated and everybody can do it. So I'm gonna uh, pass the uh, base 64 of the new image that we just uh, downloaded. So you can see that it worked basically with any image and it's not like something that I prepared for this specific tutorial. And Shazam, bam, there you go. Let's copy that, let's pass it to the Visual Studio. So it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be easier to uh, look at the result. And look how beautiful it gives us a lot of label that related to this specific picture. And as you can see, it's very accurate. That is all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe for more amazing tutorial. And leave comment below if you have any question regarding AWS, AI, serverless, and if you want to learn more about AWS. Thank you and have a great day.